Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Education and I am Dr. Paramjeet. Those who don't know me, I am a consultant physician and cardiologist in Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital, Nehrunagar, Ghaziabad, Delhi NCR and this is my channel. In this channel, I give you simplified medical explanations about the most common healthcare topic. So this information which I give you is not my opinion, not the opinion of a single doctor. It is an internationally accepted information directly deduced from the international US medical library. So you can trust this information. There are already a lot of videos present on my channel. You can go browse for your concerned health topic and know about them in simple language which your doctor does not tell you so today's topic is diet in hypothyroidism hypothyroid and hyperthyroid diet in thyroid problems overall so guys we have already made a couple of videos about hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism in english and hindi We've explained the importance of iodine in diet in the last couple of videos. If you haven't watched them, then check them out and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So guys, we have already talked that hypothyroidism is basically caused by many things including autoimmune destruction of thyroid gland, infections, inflammations because of surgery, radiations because of drugs, pregnancy, etc. And even because of iodine deficiency which is itself rare. So all these things which cause hypothyroidism obviously just by taking or avoiding some fruits you cannot nullify these factors. So if any of these things are causing hypothyroidism in your case, that particular thing needs to be tackled first. Now let's talk about the whole fuss. What to eat, what to avoid in hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, euthyroid. Now let's first understand. Euthyroid is a situation where you might have a predisposition to have hypothyroid but your TSH, T3, T4 levels are normal. So your euthyroid, your hormone levels are normal. So in this situation, when you are euthyroid, what you need to eat? Obviously, you need to have an iodine adequate diet. You need to have iodine in proper amounts. Then we had seen in the last video, then apart from iodine, which is the main substrate for thyroid hormone production, you need selenium, you need zinc, you need iron. So you need to have selenium rich, iron rich, zinc rich and vitamin A is also needed. Vitamin A rich foods. You need to include antioxidants in your diet like beta carotenes, omega 3 fatty acids. So all these things should be more in your diet if you are just euthyroid and you have a predisposition for hypothyroidism and you want to avoid hypothyroidism. Then if you are just euthyroid predisposition to hypothyroid, what you should avoid? Literally actually nothing. You can eat everything. The only thing which you need to avoid in high quantities are soy proteins and aspartamate sugar free gold aspartamate that you need to avoid and the second thing which you need to avoid if you have celiac disease then you need to avoid gluten or else no what about hypothyroid in hypothyroid situations obviously you need to take iodine rich foods now what are these foods iodine is mostly adequate and very high in seafoods it's more in sea vegetables like kelp then berries all the cranberries and strawberries and blueberries and then in milk and milk products in cheese in yogurt in all the milk products which you can get then potato navy beans and even common salt iodized salt is most important which itself can actually satisfy the iodine needs if you take it in a proper amount so you take all these things in your diet 
if you are hypothyroid it will just help don't think that it will stop your medications no it won't second thing which you need to take is selenium rich foods what are selenium rich foods selenium is mostly found in mushrooms garlic onion eggs then wheat germ then sunflower seed sesame seed brazil nuts chicken meat so selenium is more in these things iron iron is more in meat in fish liver then in eggs in tofu then in peas pulses nuts and uh, seeds dry fruits and then um, whole grain so iron is present in all all these things then what you need to take more is uh, antioxidants and antioxidants are so adequately vastly present in all fruits including citrus fruits all the berries cranberries uh, raspberries strawberries every all the fruits are studded with antioxidants and uh, kidney beans are very high in antioxidants and your green tea has antioxidants so you should take all these things you can take all these things as antioxidant rich foods then if you are hypothyroid obviously your energy levels are low so you should take low calorie food and you should take salt the most important thing salt because salt has iodine then what should you avoid if you have hypothyroidism what you should avoid is you should avoid excessive salt because in hypothyroidism you already have everything slowed down so if you have excess salt in your body it will have more volume in the blood and the tendency of swelling in your body will become more so that's why you should avoid excessive adequate salt is fine but excessive salt is to be avoided then goitrogenic foods like we already discussed uh, like cabbage and cauliflower radish and all the cassava and brassica and uh, cruciferous vegetables need to be cooked first before eating or and you should avoid eating them raw that's very important and then uh, red meat all the mutton and pork you need to avoid them if you are hypothyroid because you won't be able to actually metabolize so much strong meats very much easily so all these things are uh, about the dietary advice of hypothyroid patient then coming on to hyperthyroid if you are having hyperthyroid situation then you need to obviously eat more of the thyroid suppressive foods like these goitrogenic foods in the raw form including raw broccoli cabbage and uh, cauliflower radish all these cruciferous vegetables eat them raw and suppress your thyroid levels they help they won't be just the sole uh, factor to do the purpose but they will help second because you are hyperthyroid your activity your internal metabolism is so fast you need to burn more calorie you need more foods that's why you need to take high calorie and high nutritious food then if you are hyperthyroid obviously you need to avoid something especially iodine all, all already your thyroid gland is making a lot of thyroxine you should avoid taking iodine rich food which we already discussed you should take uh, you should avoid eating low calorie foods like salads and vegetables so you should eat high calorie foods like red meats and uh, uh, liver fish non vegetarian foods so you should eat high calorie foods uh, milk and milk products etc so guys uh, this is all which i can tell you about diet in thyroid diseases and how you can actually avoid thyroid problems is by a regular good healthy diet and uh, because healthy diet with a good amount of antioxidants and good amount of uh, iron zinc selenium and iodine will help your thyroid gland function normally and avoid autoimmune diseases infections inflammations and um, it will then it will lead to less chances for you to develop the disease in the future especially if you are pregnant and you require more iodine in your diet discuss the factor discuss this factor with your doctor if you are showing signs of hypothyroidism or predisposition to hypothyroidism then do follow the diet which i have advised don't eat raw vegetables which are goitrogenic cook them after cooking you can eat them there is no problem with that don't stop eating gluten products because of the ads and other things 
there are so many bullshit videos there are so many nonsense diet given about thyroid all around youtube don't believe in them this is the latest this is the authentic verified information directly from the us international medical library so you can trust this information so i hope uh, you have learned something from this information and don't forget to check out the other videos about thyroid problems in my channel and if you like them don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and share these videos to all those people who have thyroid problems so till next time take care of yourself be connected be healthy